Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable a crucial and advanced security feature that is going to protect your information. I'm talking about information like your phone calls, call history, your text messages, all your text messages, settings in your phone, sensitive files on your phone, and much more. This is a powerful tool and it's 100% free on Samsung phones. So let's get this activated. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings and then you wanna scroll down just a little bit and go into security and privacy. Once you're in here, scroll down a little bit more and go into more security settings, tap on it, and here's the option, Enhanced Data Protection. It's a very, very important option. So we have two of these over here, and what you wanna do is you want to enable both. So let me explain to you what's happening here. So this is gonna protect your cloud data with end-to-end -end encryption, and that's gonna ensure that nobody can access your data even if there's a data breach. And we do know data breaches occur all the time and your information gets exposed. And sometimes it could just be a malicious employee at Samsung. These things happen. So first set of information is right here. That's the backup data. If I tap on more details, you can see this includes your phone, messages, settings in your phone, apps and app settings and app data. If you have any voice recordings, they're gonna be exposed as well. Your message and call history will be exposed. Your text messages will be exposed. So it's crucial to encrypt this data end to end so nobody but you can access it on your phone. So tap on enable and it's gonna start the backup process. Now when you tap it for the very first time, it will ask to use your password, your Samsung password, or you can use your fingerprint if you have Samsung Pass enabled. Now what you are gonna to need to do is you are gonna to need to generate a recovery code and keep it safe. This is crucial. You do need to create a recovery code and you need to save it. I'm talking about save it somewhere physically. Now this is not a code you're gonna need every day. In fact, you will probably never need it unless you lose access to your device in case you need to unencrypt the data from another device. So if I tap on generate recovery code, it's gonna give me the code and that's what the code is gonna be. It says write down the code. Once you wrote it down and you know that it's safe, check this and tap on next. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I just wanna show you guys what to do. Personally, I just recommend writing it down and saving it physically, maybe in a vault, okay? And then the next thing that you wanna do is you want to encrypt synced data. So if I tap on this one, if I tap on more details, this is all the data that is synced with the cloud and you can also encrypt this as well. This is gonna ask you to create a separate key, okay? So you're gonna have a key for the sync data and a key for the backed up data. Now, just to give an example, if I go to my Samsung Notes, let me just go to my Samsung Notes application, okay? My Samsung Notes is backed to Samsung Cloud, so it is fully exposed, all the notes inside here. So look at this, if I go to my settings, you can see it is being synced with Samsung Cloud. So that means, it is unencrypted right now because this is not enabled over here. So if there was a data breach or if there was a malicious employee at Samsung, they could potentially access my information. But end-to-end -end encryption does work. If you enable it, what they'll see is they'll see gibberish. They will not be able to unencrypt that without the key. And this is something that is beyond the ordinary. That's why it's called enhanced data protection. So if you want maximum protection, you want to go ahead and you want to enable this. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?